hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is tandy um for those of people who don't know i am a south african who's been living in the uk for just about three years now uh today we're going to be watching confusing things about british homes i've spoken about the separate tabs before even though we do have separate tabs for hot and cold in old homes in south africa it's not really common in most homes to just get a mixer tap but here it's more common especially in the bathrooms um that's one of the things i've noticed which is really inconvenient um but yeah let's have a look at confusing things about british homes see if i find any of these or or if some of them are the similarities with south african homes let's have a look letter from Siobhan. How nice. Hi Kate. Thanks for taking over as host of Anglophenia. Since you're in London, I was thinking a good topic for your first episode would be the differences between British and American homes. Please show everyone around. And make them feel welcome. Siobhan. Make them feel welcome. Hello? Oh, hello! Come on in and I'll put the kettle on. Come on in, I've just put the kettle on. This is the kitchen. Yes, that is the washing machine in the kitchen. Wait. Pause it. Um, with regards to the letterbox thing uh, by the door, that's a very UK thing I found. Back home, we don't have that. Um, I think like we have like boxes by the gates, so the postman doesn't need to come to your door to deliver post. Uh, the very first time somebody, like a postman, delivered to our house, and put it through the door i was it made such a noise i thought somebody was breaking in but back home that could also be tied to like maybe crime rates uh that's why we have gates and so on uh, you would get broken into maybe burgled every other day if uh people knew that there was access to your house like a whole slot they could gain they would find a way to get into your house so yeah that's the one thing I noticed. It's um, quite normal to have a washing yeah, machine in the me. kitchen in most UK washing homes. Machines. No matter how small the place is, we can usually squeeze one in. You see, we don't have any plug sockets in the bathroom and we have a general lack of space, so you'll usually find it in the kitchen. Now, this one is a front loader. A normal wash takes about two hours and you can dry your clothes in the same machine. Just switch it to dry. It's very convenient. Yeah, that is pretty, as you say, rad. Now then, you've had a long journey. Would you like to use the bathroom? Okay. Here we are, the bathroom, the room with the bath. Mm -hmm. Now, the light switch is on this cord here. Just turn it on and off with a little tug. Stops any wet hands coming into contact with electricity. We don't want electric shocks. Which reminds me, there are no plug sockets in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Strict building regs about this sort of thing. We really don't want electric shocks. Although you will find outlets for electric razors like this one up here. Oh, I've only you seen those confused. in hotels. Is this the room you're looking for? Oh, you need to spend a penny. Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, during Victorian times, they moved the toilet from outside the home to inside. And then later on, with the addition of running water, was the bathroom added. So the toilet and bathroom aren't always one in the same. I actually so prefer that. About that. Right, this way for the toilet, lavatory, loo, or you could say ladies or gents. Here we are, Hello. the loo. And over here, we've got the basin. This is a pretty yes, old yes, school house. Oh, hot and God, cold the taps. Water taps. Now, this dates back to when a lot of houses had separate hot water tanks, which could get easily contaminated. So, to stop that water mixing with a clean, fresh, cold water supply, we had separate taps. Right. Nowadays, though, most houses don't have a separate hot water tank. It's fine to have a mixer tap. But there's something about separate taps that us Brits just seem to find rather charming. So, you'll still find them in a lot of modern homes. Now, then, let me show you how to get a good temperature. Just turn the hot water on and turn the cold water on. And then here's the fun bit. Just dart your hands <laughs> between the two. It's rather exhilarating. Now, the left one is a little bit stiff. You'll need to force it. Get it? No. Force it? Right, yeah. I'll give you two. I mean, inconvenient. Ah, there you are. You want to charge your phone? I found this adapter. I thought it might be quite useful. Our plugs are very different in the UK compared to what you have in America. We've got three pins on our plugs instead of two, and all of our plug sockets have an on-off 
switch. So remember to turn that on if you want to use it. We must look like an awfully accident prone bunch here in the UK. We do yeah. have on, on off switches in South Africa. I'm afraid we don't plants. have any air conditioning in our homes as it rarely gets warm enough. But there's nothing quite like a bit of good old fashioned fresh air from outside. Open the window. So if you get too hot, just open a window. Ah, <coughs> it's lovely stuff. Just try not to leave it open too wide, otherwise you'll get a room full of pigeons. Now, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And why don't you make yourself comfortable? Subscribe for more videos and stick around for a while. Because I think we're going to get along just splendidly. Right. Um, with regards to the air conditioner, back home it gets ridiculously hot. It's hot most of the year. But it's, it's not affordable to get an air conditioner unless you're really, like, wealthy. Uh, it's It's... It's pricey. It's pricey to run. It's pricey to install. Um, it's expensive. So we just get on fans or ceiling fans or or whatever, really, whatever's cheapest. But air conditioners are not the norm in South African homes, just like the UK, even though it would make sense. But there are pools. Pools are mostly normal in, like, suburbia. Most people have pools, so that's pretty normal, so I guess... Would you rather have an air conditioner or a pool? Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.